Lord said unto Moses, ready? The man shall surely be put uh, shall be surely put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. You want to follow the law? You better follow it all. I guess you're going to be sitting in a jail cell too, buddy. But if you believe it, you're going to do it, right? The thing is, quit lying to yourself. Quit lying to yourself. You are not prepared to do that, okay? You are not prepared to do that. And there's no way that you can get your, your past sins forgiven by living after the law. Let's just face it. You need a Savior. Let's just face it. You need a Savior. You're already way too far down the road to fix any of it. Your life is a mess. Your sin is dragging you to hell as we speak if you're not saved. And then you are hell bound and you need a Savior. You're not a good person. You've never been a good person. Uh, yeah, you played nice a little bit, but you were thinking it. You know, and the thought of foolishness is what? It is sin. That's right. So, Romans 10, 3 through 4 says this, For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. This is what they're doing. Through Sabbaths, feasts, uh, wearing funny looking clothes, cutting their hair different. I mean, they, they want to wear Nikes and, and drink purple Kool-Aid. They want to do all these weird things. And they're going about to establish their own righteousness. Notice this. Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. What is the righteousness of God? Jesus Christ. If you have not submitted yourself to the righteousness of God, you're going to hell. That's God's righteousness. Verse 4, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it. Let me read it again because I know I read it too fast. You need to hear this. Romans 10, 4, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it. It either is or it isn't. What's your authority? Who's your authority? If it's a King James Bible, you got it. All you have to do is read and believe. There it is. And follow. God will help you follow it too. But when your faith, uh, uh, when your faith, when it is placed so emphatically upon the words of God that those who think themselves to be something when they're nothing and you treat them as such, you become a threat. Why? Because you've already studied it. That, that, that guy, man, he's like, man, you know, you need to be following the law. Man, I bet, you, I bet you meet on Sunday. Man, look at you, man. You're a false prophet. It's just he didn't even believe it. And God gave me the option in public to call his hand. The guy probably could have taken me. I'm not a huge person. He probably could have taken me. You know, and got some stones from somewhere close. Hey, let's get this guy. You know, and he didn't believe what he said he believed. My question to you is, do you believe what you say you believe? You believe salvation is so free? Why aren't you trying to share it with anybody? You believe it, right? I mean, man, I mean, I've, I've heard some of... Maybe not some of you, but church people. I've heard church people talk about vitamin C for hours, man. Ah, oh, vitamin C does this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Man, they're turning orange talking about it, you know. And, and the thing, man, they believe that. But you believe in Jesus and you don't barely talk about him at all. Do you really believe it? I, I hope so. Let's close with this. Galatians 3. Galatians 3. I'm not going to have some great conclusion. You know me. But I, I don't think there's anything better to close with than the Bible. Amen? I can't do better than that. I can't, I can't top God. <laughs> Galatians chapter 3, and we're going to read 1 through 3. And let this sink in. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you that ye should not obey the truth? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ hath been evidently set forth crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Received you the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? 
Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now made perfect in the flesh? Let's go ahead and stand. Hopefully that message was an encouragement to you. You got the real faith, man. You got the real thing. Yes. Free and clear. Amen. We need to shout it upon the rooftop. Amen. Mary Chris, do you know how to... But just think about what have you done with this faith? 